let's take a moment to learn from this experienced springboard educator. One thing we find helpful to do during a read aloud um, is having that discussion. We have a discussion with the students and what that discussion looks like. We try to connect it to real life events. So for instance, we will model. Um, I'm like this character because I remember when I first learned how to ride a bike, I was really scared and I kept falling and my mom would help me and I felt so much better when I was able to learn how to ride that bike. Then we give our students time to connect to that story by having those discussions, connecting it to their real lives. What's something that you can connect with or something that happened to you or you might want to happen to you. Um, we give them time to talk to each other because they love to talk to each other and share those stories. And then we have them have time to share out those stories. So that's kind of like one tip we do with that read aloud to really engage a discussion. They love to hear stories from the teachers about when they were small because you know, we were never small before, right? <laughs> so it's always a good thing and the students really engage and they like it.